In response to a tender floated by the Royal Malaysian Air Force under its light combat aircraft program for 18 fighter jets with the probability of a follow-up order of 18 more units, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will submit its bids by the third week of September. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that the Tejas light combat aircraft stands a good chance of being bought by foreign air forces and the regions which have exhibited an interest in the Tejas Mark 1A are East Europe. South Asia, West Asia and South America. Malaysia is in the process of upgrading its capabilities, and Hindustan Aeronautics have been in business with Malaysia for the last two years. India and Russia have signed a deal for the immediate off-the-shelf procurement of 70,000 AK-200 rifles. This development comes even as both countries work on a bigger project to jointly manufacture 6 lakh AK-203 rifles in India under a joint venture partnership. The initial plan was to directly import 20,000 units and jointly manufacture 6.5 lakh units in India, but the delay in joint production has resulted in off-the-shelf purchase of 70,000 units. Officials have said that the off-the-shelf purchase could include multiple variants of the AK-200 series, since the basic difference is the accessories that are fitted to the rifle. The formal contract for the joint production of 6 lakh units is also expected to be inked soon, under which the joint venture firm has to achieve 100% localized sourcing of materials for the rifle within one and a half years of beginning the production line. The DRDO has completed the design phase of the next-generation submarine-launched cruise missile, and is currently in the final fabrication phase, under which the work has started on the warhead assembly. After the next-gen submarine-launched cruise missile is fabricated, the DRDO will conduct ground-based testing, followed by testing from a pontoon, after which it will be integrated on submarines. The next-gen submarine-launched cruise missile will have a range of more than 300 kilometers and will be equipped with next-generation active radar homing seeker and will be capable to perform the role of both anti-ship and land attack in dense electronic warfare environment and will effectively replace the existing KH-35 and club anti-ship missile, the American Harpoon and French Exocet missiles in the Navy's arsenal. The RDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has begun work on an unmanned ground combat vehicle, and it is being developed on the technology that has already been developed under the Mantra program. The DRDO is ready with the design, and a private sector company will be roped in for the production of two prototypes, that should be delivered in 18 months for testing purposes. With an investment of $1 million, the Indian firm DCM Sri Ram Industries has bought 30% stake in a Turkish drone manufacturing company's Iron Dynamics. The two companies have signed a partnership agreement at this week's International Defence Industries Fair in Istanbul, where the Turkish firm had showcased two new UAVs, which had the highest flying speed in their class of drones. Under the partnership, Zyron Dynamics will provide technological support to the Indian firm, and both parties will support each other in marketing the products in India, Europe and Australia. <laughs> Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has launched the fifth edition of the Defence India Startup Challenge 5.0, under which 35 challenges were unveiled, that includes 13 from the services and 22 from defence public sector undertakings. The challenges are from the areas such as situational awareness, augmented reality, artificial intelligence, aircraft trainer, 5G network, underwater domain awareness, swarm drones and data capturing. The RDO Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics had issued an expression of interest for the design engineering and manufacturing of 10 prototypes of military-grade smartphone for which the Bharat Electronics Limited and Lav Mobiles had submitted their techno-commercial response. Oh,